What's up, bosses? This is JoeMan543, and I swear I'll get back to SPV3 soon. But I saw there was a mod put out by Inferno Plus, the same one that made Cursed Halo, the one that we know and love. And this one is apparently about a very, very long warthog. And there's a video to go with it. I have not seen this video. I just know it's about taking a warthog and making it as long as possible through mods. So. First, I'm going to react to the video, then I'm going to install the mod, and I'll react to it in game. <laughs> so we'll see what we can do here. Link to the video and mod and that sort of stuff in the video description. Here we go with the video. I'm in front of the prison camp. Excellent, Snake. H hasn't slowed you down one bit. I didn't know you could make characters do that in game. Oh. <laughs> Kept you waiting, huh? It's Snake. So here's where it all began. <laughs> the Warthog Grand Caravan from Cursed Halo. A ridiculous Wait, idea is that the actual name? Function, That's just what I came up not with. not pushed to its absolute limits. <sighs> Today we are going to change that. Did he use my name? So here we have Long Hogs I'm version so proud. 3 and 4. Oh These no. These bad boys have completely <laughs> custom collision and Ow. physics models coming Starting in at nearly 3 times the weight of like, a normal seriously. Warthog. And are of course capable of seeing oh, up to 11 players each. But what you don't know is that Wait. these vehicles completely pale in comparison to the horrors that are yet to come. Prepare yourself. For something adorable. Oh, that's cute. You came to this video looking for the <laughs> longest warthog possible, but did you expect to find the shortest warthog? It's like a warthog and a hoglet just, you know, did what they do. And and that's the mid-sized version. Uh, it's like Hagrid, how he's like half giant, right? That's Hagrid. Everyone loves Hagrid. Possible. Or how about the tallest warthog possible? Oh my goodness, no. Yeah, it just no. Like it's really <laughs> hard to drive. <laughs> But let's get right back on topic here with Long Hogs version 5 uh, and 6. Our first Warthog's capable of carrying an entire server's worth of players. These Warthogs are now bigger than any other vehicle in the base game and require a huge amount of physics and model data to make them work properly. And speaking of huge, behold, the Big Hog. This is a Warthog to exactly two times scale. It's fully functional with custom seat animations and appropriately scaled physics. But of course, what kind of person would I be if I just stopped Big hog. there? Why not? Behold again, the Mega Hog. What? Now this abomination what? is up to four times scale. It's so big that Master Chief has to stand up in the seat <laughs> in order to reach the steering wheel. And he can't reach the gun turret, so he just sort of holds on to the top of it and hopes for the best, I guess. This thing is so massive you can just walk right underneath it and squeeze between the suspension. It's massive, mate. Alright, I guess I've made you guys wait long enough. Let's go ahead and bring out Long Hog version 7. Huh? Uh, that's not supposed that to happen. Right. I, I think we've hit a limit with Halo 1's game engine. Models in Halo 1 have a maximum of 64 markers in each permutation. And this Warthog exceeds that number by just a bit. So I guess this is it. Oh, did we reach a limit? This is the longest Warthog. No, he'll find a way. The Inferno Plus is good at possible. things. Or is it? Technically, a lot of these markers are not critical to making the Warthog work. I can remove a bunch of them with no consequences whatsoever, and BOOM! Longhog version <laughs> 7 has logged in. But let's be real here, you guys want uh, more. Your appetite for longer Warthogs is truly insatiable, since you are still watching this video. Let's go ahead and bring out Longhog version 8. Oh! Oh dear. So I guess that's it. Our journey ends here. No, it doesn't. Or does it? Oh, hmm. fie, the wide hog. What? Quite the sight to behold, right? <laughs> a warthog that's just too thick for its I don't know why, weight. it makes me think but of the Cybertruck. If you think cursed, then prepare yourself <laughs> for these bad boys. Oh. <laughs> but I guess the wide hog what? isn't for everyone, so how about a thin hog? He's a yes, that's, that's a thing, that's a people, that's the thing people were asking about. At least one person asked about Warthog with just two wheels. They're not extra wide, but they asked about extra wide wheels. He has just enough space in the back for a buddy. <laughs> Monster Hog! <laughs> Halo 1 uses a very simple physics system where vehicles are defined as a collection of spheres. 
and in order to extend the Warthog any further, I need more. So I guess we have finally reached an impasse. This must be, without a doubt, the longest Warthog possible. Is it though? You've done this before in Inferno Plus. Is it? There we go! Sure, we may be at a mass point, <laughs> but we can still rework the model to try and use them more efficiently. Yeah, just this spread way, the mass. This way we can basically stretch the Warthog out further by displacing and rearranging mass points as we go. Long Hog version 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So long that I had to make a custom camera track so you could actually <laughs> see while driving. Long Hog version 14. <laughs> So long that it can now be used as a bridge no. between the bases on Battle Creek. And next, of course, we have the Hog Hog and the Wart Wart. I don't really know what to say the about hog these. Hog and they're the just, wart wart. They're just kind of goofy looking. And they drive wart, weird. Wart, wart. I, don't, I don't like it. <laughs> but what doesn't drive weird is the Hover Hog. This one is actually kind of cool. It That's controls similar in the Curse Campaign. It's seating for four players. And honestly, I, I kind of like this one. I might, I might keep it. Just don't tell me about that. And just one it's basically last a ghost. One. More seating though. Spaz hog, a totally normal warthog that just sort of spazzes out. <laughs> random. Oh, Truly I gotta try that. Of modern engineering. All right, so you guys remember that big hog from the start of the video? Oh, well, I didn't no. just stop at four times scale. In fact, I went quite a bit further. So please, ready yourselves for the giga hog. <laughs> My apologies no. for those of you who may be suffering heart attacks right now. Oh no! It's here! The Ultima Hog! <laughs> and this desert, oh boy, brace yourself for our great and most holy of lords approaches. Behold the Wart God! Thou shalt singeth its praise and glory, and it shall blesseth thee with eternal life and low ping. <clears throat> the longest warthog possible. And next up is, of course, Long Hog version 15. Of what course. A powerful specimen this <laughs> is. For reference, you can use it as a ladder to climb up the side of Death Island. Bigger. Further. 17. Oh. No. This error message, it brings me great pain. For we have reached the upper limit for vertices in a model. We can no longer extend this warthog. All of my hopes and dreams dashed in an instant. Hmm? Or are they? I have hit the vertice limit for the visual model, but the physics and collision can be further simplified and extended. I can create a warthog that is so long, it will rip apart the very fabric of our universe. And that is exactly what I have done. Now gaze upon my creation, for it is beautiful and terrible as the morning and the night. Fair as the sea and the sun and the snow upon the mountain. Dreadful as the storm and the lightning and stronger than the foundations of the earth. All shall love it and despair. It's gotta be like 500 seats long. will unfortunately never end. If you enjoyed this Halo theme content, be sure to let me know and I'll keep making horrific videos like this. I might even make a second Cursed Halo. And that is a threat. Hmm. So... At this point, I'm convinced there's nothing Inferno Plus can't do. That's the first thing I've learned from this video. Second thing is I got to try this out. Oh my goodness. Those reactions were genuine. I didn't fake any of those. I can't believe... I, can't... Uh. <laughs> I guess this is also a guide on how to install mods. So, we come over here. Well, I guess there's also the custom edition version, which is a lot smaller. We're going to go with that one. Okay, so once you download finishes, you can either do your thingy or your thingy or whatever. However you want to do it, open the zip folder, extract the files. And if you've done this before and happen to lose your recording, you can just copy and replace and do for all the items. All right, this Chimera stuff is for the camera work because some of these get really big. Unfortunately, I tried doing it and it kind of broke on mine. So we're just going to do the maps. And here we have the Desert Warthog map. Now, you may be wondering, where do I put this file? Well, you will take your Halo Custom Edition, which you should have by this point if you're getting into mods. If not, go get Halo Custom Edition and then come back to this. 
So, you have your maps. This is where all the party is happening. And then what you do is for demonstration purposes, you go and find your Desert Warthog map and delete it. And then you copy Desert Warthog into this folder and give permission. Congratulations, you got the map in there. You can close that, you can close that, you can close that. And minimize that. Or close it, doesn't matter. Now that you've done that, you can take your Halo Custom Edition and open it up. And then we're in Halo. Now I'm pretty sure the campaign is unaffected, so we're gonna head into multiplayer. I'm gonna create my own game, and I'm lonely, so it'll just be me. Um, this is where you have all your maps. There's a lot. But in particular, let's see if I can find it here. There it is. Found it. it. Took me a minute. Desert Warthog. And then, okay. You know what? We're gonna do capture the flag. Capture the flag. Excellent. Great start. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I can already see it. Okay. Not nothing too crazy yet. Uh, but I do want to take a look at this. I remember seeing a video. Whoa. Um, well, my arms are. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I remember seeing a video. I think it was Top Gear. It was something like this. Basically, the fronts of two vehicles strapped together. And, um, you know, they're front wheel drive, so you just kind of have one of them drive in and make sure the other's in neutral, and you're probably going to be fine. Um, <laughs> right, so if we flip this around. Uh oh. Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay. Um, that's not. That's not right. That's not right. <laughs> okay, hold on. Driver seat, side seat. All right, this one doesn't drive. There we go. Wait, but this is the correct one, right? Sitting on the left side. So, is this is this the driver? Ah. Okay, fine. I'll hold. Well, if I hold backwards, it kind of works. Hmm. I thought I was gonna be able to drive forward in both both ways. Guess not. Okay. Well, uh, this is familiar territory. Warhog Grand Caravan, which is what I uh, called it in my Halo series. I don't know if I saw that on one of Inferno Plus's things and just called it that, or if he actually used my name. Uh, makes me feel good. That's for sure. <laughs> okay. Now the Monster Hog. Yeah, this this looks like something special. And yep, the wheels and all the collisions is done done correctly, so I can just run stuff over. Can I get up on the base here? I don't think I'm tall enough for that. But speaking of tall <laughs> Okay. Um Hold a sec. Okay. For a moment I thought I jumped extra high. I don't. But I jump high enough. So if I, uh, yep, that sounds about right. Uh, that sounds about right. Yep, that sounds about right. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. I'll be right back. Whew, that was unexpectedly violent. This is a normal shotgun, right? Yeah. And get in, get in, get in. Heg, heg, yeah. Hold on, hold on, I got it, I, I got it, I... <laughs> come on, come on, g g g g Dang it! Oh man, yeah, you... This thing goes down, it, it doesn't get back up. It... <sighs> it's like cutting down a tree and then trying to put the tree back on the stump. It doesn't work. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna try some other warthogs then. Alright, well let's go for... Another long one here. Uh, how many do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And disappear. No? Okay. I thought it was listening to me. Well. Yep. Yep, it handles how I thought it would handle. Ooh. Can I get the tail to swing out? 
<sighs> Not really. Not really. Reminds me of an episode of American Top Gear where the one guy, I don't remember who, he's like, I can drift anything. So they give him a bus, and he gets a little skid on the rear wheels, but it wasn't really drifting. This is what that reminds me of. I'm trying to drift it. I can't. <laughs> okay. Well, let's uh, get back down to a little quaint size here. This is the one that I called the Hagrid. Because, like, it's little, but it's, it's not the Hoglet. You know? The Hoglet was tiny. And then, you know, there's the normal size Warthog, which is bigger than this. And Hagrid from Harry Potter, he's half giant, right? So it's kind of like... You know, this is Hagrid. <laughs> oh man, this is a lot bouncier than I thought it'd be. You gotta watch his back wheels. I guess they are somewhat exposed, huh? They don't exactly have as much hanging over as normal. Okay, are there any around here I haven't tried? Well, the tall hog's back, so I'm gonna try that one. Hold on, let me get the names right, though. Okay, this is the short hog. Alright, tall hog. Let's see how far I can actually drive this. Because apparently, once it falls over, that's it. <laughs> Show's over. No, 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 no. No! Receive it! Ah, yeah, bugger. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, so this one has seven. This one over here must have eight then. Yeah, I think it does. Flipping is pretty normal. Now, these aren't D20s, are they? I didn't think so. But I wanted to know for sure. So, can I just, like... Yeah, I can just step in. Nice. And I fall down here. Can I get in the back? Sure can. Alright. Now, I attempted to turn before. Maybe if I just go slow enough. Because if I get very much inertia at all. This thing's going over. Okay. Okay. At really, really slow speeds, I can turn around. Now I want to get out and see see if I can just step onto the platform here. Yep. Yep, sure can. Ha <laughs> ha. I don't know why I feel so victorious about that, but I do. Let me see if I can actually go long distance forward, or if that's an issue, too. Oop. Oh, Oop. Oh. Okay, we're good, we're good. The, the tiniest amount of turn is quite precarious. Now, my objective is not this way, so I'm not actually sure what I'll find. Maybe it's the edge of the map, or maybe it's just a hill, I don't know. That, right there, looks like the edge of the map. Alright, stopping test. Er, yep! That is what I thought would happen. Oh, that's... Huh, it's back up. Nice. I thought I was going to have to walk back, or kill myself or something. Okay, we'll turn around very carefully. Okay, and let's get on the road. We'll head back. We'll head back to the base. Don't fall over, come on. <laughs> okay, we're, we're on our way back. By the way, I had some pasta and a smoothie for dinner. Separated, of course. And, uh, I thought I could flip this thing up on there a little bit. Um, yeah, pasta and a smoothie. And, uh, and that smoothie had some peaches and plums and banana and strawberries and yogurt. It was a very good smoothie. Um, pick the plums. Someone posted on Facebook, free plums. I guess, uh, they were just falling all over the yard and they didn't want to pick them up. So, I went and picked some plums off the tree, not off the ground and add them in the smoothie. It's pretty good. Okay, well, Blue Base is 15 miles away, and as we know, a mile is more than a kilometer, so naturally, it's fewer kilometers than miles. I was hoping this Warthog would be faster, but it doesn't seem to be faster, because I was thinking bigger wheels is faster, right? Um, I guess not. Wait a second, wait a second, I'm doing this all wrong. Monster truck! Whoa! That is more than I thought it would do. Okay. Okay, so what I did wrong is this is a desert. Let's do desert bus. Oh. Oh. Is there anything else to see? Oh, I see a, 
I see a base over there. So I, I probably better not follow the road anymore. But I see something I want to go take a look at. <laughs> oh, good. It, it despawned for a moment. It's back. Hey! I must have gone into a kill zone. Ah! I drive all that way again. Okay, instead of desert bus, it's desert Miata, I guess. Honestly, this is about the proportions of a Miata. It's, um, you know, the two seats with just a little bit behind you, but not too much behind you. I drive a Miata, my daily. It's also my drift car. I go drifting sometimes, it's fun. Okay, so what I've learned is road safe, desert dangerous. No, street safe, desert dangerous. They start with the same letter, so you know it's true. See, if I just go directly towards that, I'll, I'll probably die. So I'm going to stick to the road. Unfortunately, that means I've probably got to do some big loop or something. Uh, because that road was, it was going away from Blue Base for sure. Okay, well, after uh, about 10 minutes of driving, I'm about 5 kilometers away. I went around a big loop. Um, I could probably go to that next, but I saw this thing, and I figured, I mean, why go to the super big hog before the kind of big hog? I want to see this first. Yeah, I was jamming out to some music on the way over here. Unfortunately, it's copyright, so pretty much have to cut all that out. My goodness, just for scale, like... <laughs> um, first, I can literally jump in it. Look, I can hide. I can hide down here. They never know I'm here. Smuggle. <laughs> and then uh, I can also get down here. If only there's like gas pedal. Just like bump it, lurch forward. <laughs> All right, and then we have back here. Let's see. I I just wonder if I get into the passenger seat. Okay. Awesome. I I'm, I'm in here. I can't see over the windshield. Can't see over the dashboard. If I get out, awesome. I, I don't actually get out. I was afraid I was going to wind up back on the ground. Okay. If I can make my way back here. Can I... There. There we go. Sweet. Now I'm on the big gun. Uh, not much to say about the big gun. Seems to fire normal size rounds. I, uh, I lost my other warthog, so... Can I shoot the bigger hog with it? It doesn't seem to be moving it, so... Okay, well, let's, um... I guess there's no animation for getting out. You just kind of wait. Okay, well, let's drive this thing. Alright, the big hog. There we go. Got his hands on the steering wheel. <laughs> it looks so cute. Like, Chief is six or seven feet tall. Maybe more like seven or eight feet tall. Chief's a big guy. But you're used to him kind of being normal size because the enemies are also not tiny. Um, <laughs> this is a big hog, man. I think this is actually a faster option than the other hog. Uh, but yeah, let's go. Let's go take a look at the biggest hog. Ah! All right. Well, I'm gonna change some things up real quick. I'm going to switch to blue team, and that'll take me to the other base, no problem. Excellent. Now I'm on blue team. What do we have over here? Ooh, we got the two-wheeled hog, the, the motorcycle hog. Keep responding. Thin hog, that's it. All right, let's see here. Um, well, <laughs> well like the tall hog. Well, all right, it's not quite as bad as the tall hog. More like the three-wheeled one. Uh, <clears throat> Well, like the three-wheeled one, the uh, the Reliant, I guess. No, it's actually worse. This is, this is worse. So this is uh, still too much for it, man. Okay, well, that's. Let me at least get it up to speed. All right, and turn. Whoa. Yeah. All right. So this is just. This is the wart wart. Wait a second. Wait a second. You can drive it too. <laughs> I 
<laughs> this thing is this is a very powerful, very powerful vehicle. I wouldn't say that it drives super well. Uh, what if I do a brake test? Yep. <laughs> um, is this the flying one? Oh. Hog wart. Not wart hog. Right, so you try to drive forward and it says no to that idea. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So I. Just backwards. That's it. That's just backwards. Okay. Well. Alright, so I tried the wart wart. There's the thin hog. We've got some long ones. Okay. Well, I think all we have left is this really long one. What is this? The long hog. I believe this is the longest one that we've seen so far in game. Oh, man. Alright, um, just kind of do a couple things here. Okay. I can't die now. This is the fastest the camera can move. We have even more Warthogs to try out. Alright. Now, the second part of my master plan. There we go. <laughs> okay, there we go. I'm Chief again. I'm way out here. Saved myself a little bit of time. Um, but still took a little time to get out here. So, driver's seat of a warthog is right here. The camera is very up close. Wow. Wow. I feel like I'm driving a couch. That's what this feels like. Like, you maybe you've seen those videos on the internet where someone has a couch they can drive. I feel like I'm driving a couch. Wow. Now, I don't know where the kill zones are around here. So I feel like I gotta be careful and not go too far away. But uh what's this gun like? Huh. I mean besides shooting a lot more projectiles, it's pretty much the same. Alright, side seat at Warthog, nice, nice. Are there a bunch of middle side seats too? Yep, yep, certainly are. <laughs> well that's cool. Uh Let's take a look at the flying warthog. There's so many names, I can't remember. This is the wide hog. All right. This is the hover hog. So you can shoot. And uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't fly exactly. Nose seems to go up just a tiny bit when I press space, like a ghost does. Okay, it, it's a ghost. It's pretty much a ghost. With the exception of carrying more passengers. Well, I think next I'm going to check out that warthog. And then I'll go check out that warthog. Teleport to the camera. And then I look through my eyes again. Oh my goodness. It's even I knew this was going to be big. I didn't know how big. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, man. Can I get in? That's the next question. Teleport camera. Okay, I am in the big hog. My goodness, man. I can barely jump over the center console. Man, ever wanted to run around on the dashboard of a warthog? If I can just... There we go, I'm on the dashboard, okay. Well, still got the glass. I can ever so slightly move this. I... I don't know what to... Oh, come on, man. Good thing I'm deathless. Okay, let's drive it. All right, first of all, that size. Ugh. And second... Wow. Wow, it's so fast. Like, it's ginormous. But this thing's fast. Uh-oh, I'm doing wheelies. Yeah, dude. Oh, my goodness. I think there are other warthogs down there, but I can't even see. 
Alright, that's just the wide one. I already saw that. If this is the big hog, then that must be the giga hog. Okay, this is just how big this one is. Can you still see me? Can you see me? Down down there? Eh, eh. <laughs> just a tiny green speck. That's all I am. Okay, I'm on top of the big gun. Where where do I control it from? Uh uh Ah I fell into the gun. <laughs> okay, well I'm on the platform for the turret, but I'm not actually sure how I can get on. I tried also getting literally on top of it. I'm not quite sure how to get in. Uh, let's head to the front of the vehicle, shall we? Oh my goodness. Okay, this is the dashboard of the Warthog. I feel like an ant. Not even a mouse. A mouse would be too big for this. I feel like an ant. My goodness, man. Alright, well, let's slide down. Whee! Wait a second. Oh, I can actually climb up. Nice. His radar. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can drive this. So if I just go in the driver's seat here. Huge fall. Alright, what do I got triggered? Gosh dang it. The vehicle keeps reloading. Okay, I'm not quite sure where or how I can drive this. Oh. Hmm. Okay, so apparently that's not solid. I'm not quite sure. Stop it! No! Ah! I want to drive it. Unfortunately, this thing might just be for show. I'm having a hard time finding anywhere to get in the vehicle or drive it, and it keeps respawning and hurting me, which is really annoying. To give you another comparison of the scale of this thing, let's just back up a little bit here and you'll start to see just how big this is. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't seem to get in or drive it, which is sad. But there's the other one, which is still kind of big. Where's it going here? <laughs> so this is apparently the biggest warthog that I can still drive. The super mega ultra big one out there can't be driven. Or at least I couldn't find where to enter the, the driver cockpit seat. Um, so, this is what I have. Come on! I don't know why I died, but... Ta-da. Okay, we're gonna see what this looks like. I'm gonna flip the big hog. Is this gonna be like the, uh, the tall one where I just can't get it on its wheels, or? Come on, come on, get on your wheels. You giant, you. My goodness, man. Hey, there we go. Looks like it's going to get on its wheels. Blue team. Sweet. Got flag. that. Okay. I got the flag. And I have a ginormous warthog. Now, I'm going to try and drive the whole Blue team way has back. The flag. Uh. Gotta watch out for the kill zones. OK, 
Okay, here we are approaching blue base in this ginormous warthog. All right, let's hop out here and uh, go put that flag where it belongs. Blue team has the flag. Really glad I'm immortal. <laughs> okay. So, uh, you know, it only took a few minutes to get across the desert. Blue and team there we go. Score. We scored. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for watching, bosses. I'm JoeMan543, and this has been the mod from Inferno Plus about all the different warthogs you can make. Long, big, uh, other kinds, <laughs> all sorts of warthogs. If you like the video, there's an option for that. If you want to comment, there's that option. And if you want to find out what I'm doing next, you have to wait and see. But you can subscribe until then. Take care now, bosses. Bye!